The final track on Taylor Swift's highly anticipated 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, is titled Clara Bow. For Swifties and casual listeners alike, this name drop has sparked immense curiosity. Who exactly was Clara Bow, and why did she merit a coveted spot on Swift's latest musical masterpiece? To understand the significance, we need to travel back nearly a century to the 1920s, the roaring, jazz-fueled decade that gave rise to the original It Girl, Clara Bow. Born into poverty and family trauma in 1905 Brooklyn, no one could have predicted that this wide-eyed, free-spirited teenager would captivate the nation and blaze a trail for a new kind of Hollywood stardom. Clara's rise to fame reads like a classic rags-to-riches tale. The youngest child of a mentally ill and occasionally violent mother, Clara found solace and escape at the local Nickelodeon. Transfixed by the silent films flickering on screen, she set her sights on becoming an actress. At 16, she entered a national beauty contest on a whim and won a small part in a film. Though her role ended up on the cutting room floor, Clara was undeterred. She relentlessly pursued her dream, haunting studio lots until she landed a breakout role in the 1923 hit, Down to the Sea in Ships. Her captivating performance caught the eye of powerhouse studio Paramount Pictures. They signed her to a contract and by 1924, 19-year-old Clara was on her way to becoming one of the biggest box office draws of the decade. Clara's appeal was undeniable. With her heart-shaped face, soulful eyes, and vivacious spirit, she personified the 1920s ideal, the flirtatious flapper who flouted convention. Her acting style was refreshingly natural and modern compared to the stylized theatricality of many of her contemporaries. But it was more than talent and beauty that skyrocketed Clara to icon status. She possessed an intangible magnetism, a special something that leapt off the screen. Eleanor Glynn, a British novelist famous for her racy romances, dubbed it It, and Clara was overflowing with It. The 1927 romantic comedy It, based on Glynn's story, made Clara an international sensation. As Betty Lou, the sassy lingerie salesgirl who uses her It factor to charm the boss's son, Clara defined the quintessential 1920s woman, independent, uninhibited, and unabashedly sexy. The film was a massive hit, and the nickname, The It Girl, would follow Clara for the rest of her life. At the peak of her fame, Clara was receiving over 45,000 fan letters a month, more than any other star. She was one of Hollywood's top earners. Her face graced magazine covers, and her every move was chronicled by the voracious press. She was America's first true movie star and sex symbol, but the relentless spotlight took its toll. Clara's personal life became fodder for gossip and judgment. Her affairs with leading men like Gary Cooper and Victor Fleming, her penchant for partying and provocative behavior, made her a magnet for scandal. Cruel headlines branded her empty-hearted and analyzed her inability to keep a man. Behind the brash, carefree image, Clara was struggling. Overworked and underpaid by exploitative studio bosses, she was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. In 1931, she entered a sanitarium, seeking respite from the pressures of fame. Clara staged a brief comeback after marrying cowboy actor Rex Bell and taking time to recover. She made a handful of talkies, proving she could adapt to the new sound technology. But her heart wasn't in it anymore. At 28, she walked away from Hollywood for good. Retreating to her husband's Nevada ranch, Clara embraced a quiet life, raising her two sons and breeding horses. She never made another film. As the decades passed, the It Girl faded from public memory, her legacy gathering dust. Mental health issues continued to plague Clara. In the 1940s, she attempted suicide and was diagnosed with schizophrenia. She spent her final years living as a recluse in a modest Los Angeles bungalow until her death from a heart attack in 1965. She was 60 years old. In recent years, there's been a renewed appreciation for Clara Bow and her contributions to film history. She's now recognized as a trailblazing figure who helped define the modern woman and paved the way for future bombshell actresses like Jean Harlow and Marilyn Monroe. Much of the credit goes to historian David Sten, whose 1988 biography, Clara Bow Running Wild, sought to correct the misconceptions and scandals that had overshadowed her legacy. Sten's book, along with the 1999 documentary, Clara Bow, Discovering the It Girl, produced by Hugh Hefner, reintroduced Clara to a new generation. Since then, Clara's films have been restored and screened for adoring audiences. Her flapper fashions and heart-shaped lips have become iconic. And now, with a song on one of the most anticipated albums of 2024, Clara is once again having a cultural moment. So why did Taylor Swift choose to honor Clara Bow in her music? While Swift hasn't spoken directly about the inspiration behind the song, parallels between the two women are evident. Like Clara, 
Taylor skyrocketed to fame as a teenager and has spent half her life in the harsh glare of celebrity. She knows all too well the pressures of being a role model, the vicious media scrutiny of her every romance and heartbreak. Perhaps in Clara Bow, Swift recognizes a kindred spirit, a woman who grappled with the price of fame and the fickle nature of public adoration. In her 2020 documentary, Miss Americana, Swift opened up about the immense pressure she felt to maintain a likable public persona and the impact it had on her self-worth. Nearly a century earlier, Clara faced similar struggles, contending with relentless media scrutiny and the exploitation of the studio system. Both women also share a rare ability to project authenticity and forge intimate connections with their fans. Just as Clara's unaffected charm made moviegoers feel she was one of them, Swift's diaristic lyrics and social media savvy have fostered a uniquely personal bond with her massive fan base. It's tempting to imagine the song Clara Bow as Swift's tribute to a misunderstood icon, an ode to female ambition and the bittersweet glare of the spotlight. Perhaps it's a meditation on the way society builds up and tears down its brightest stars. Or maybe it's a celebration of the indomitable spirit of women who forge their own paths. Whatever meaning Swift has layered into her lyrics, one thing is certain. Clara Bow is a fitting muse for this album about fame, artistry, and the perils of celebrity. Her story is a reminder of the fleeting nature of success and the resilience required to weather its storms. Nearly 100 years after she first dazzled audiences, Clara Bow still has it. And thanks to Taylor Swift, a new generation will fall under her spell. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos.